Today we are recreating the Met Gala's most iconic looks of all time, simply because I saw these dresses and I thought to myself, I wanna wear a dress like that. So we're going to make them, or in the case of a couple of them, have them made. I really tried my best on a couple of these <laughs> and it was a lot of fun, so I'm excited for you to see how they turned out. Starting with possibly the most controversial dress to ever grace the Met Gala, Kim Kardashian in the Marilyn Monroe's dress. This is the dress that Marilyn Monroe sang happy birthday, Mr. President back in the day. And Kim jumped through some hoops to convince Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum to let her wear this. And it had many people, including the original designer, Bob Mackie, a little bit upset. It's funny because this is technically the most expensive Met Gala dress, but it cost me the least. So this dress actually cost Marilyn $1,440 back in the day, which is equivalent to about $13,000 now. But Ripley's bought it in 2016 for $4.8 million. But I got one for way cheaper. Okay, are you ready for my $69 Kim dress? <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> it's actually really cute. Like it is kind of cheap, but I feel like you can totally see the look that it's going for. It didn't come with this jacket, by the way. I've had this jacket. It actually glows in the dark, but it was kind of perfect to wear with this. I even somehow managed to get a tiny rip in the back like Kim allegedly did. It's not even like tight. I want my $69 back. <laughs> Moving on. Our next look is Jennifer Lopez in Versace in 2019 in this beautiful silver fringe look. And I bet you can guess why I wanted to recreate this one. <laughs> like how perfect is this? This is one of my products that Pinterest suggested to me. Jennifer's wig actually started out this long and then they ended up chopping it because she didn't want to take away from how beautiful the dress was, which I don't blame her in her case, but we're not gonna have to worry about that with my dress. <laughs> Jennifer's look, we're not exactly sure how much it costs tens, if not hundreds of thousands. The necklace that she was wearing was $300,000 just by itself. It's a 130 karat sapphire <laughs> surrounded by diamonds. So I don't know, this whole look altogether could be millions. I feel like if I move really, really fast, you could almost mistake me as JLo. <laughs> are you ready for this reveal? There are tons of like short fringe silver dresses out there, but it really was a challenge to find a long one. At least one that wasn't like $1,500. I went on Timu and I found this one for $20 and I I thought it looked promising. And then it showed up and it was like a literal pillowcase with some silver strings hanging off of it. It was pretty bad, but luckily I did have some silver glitter fabric spray. Okay, time to see if we can salvage this dress. <laughs> Wait, yeah, that's gonna look good if we cover the whole thing. Okay, ta-da! <laughs> this one turned out so good! Whoa! What is this look? Oh yeah, okay, I got it. I'm well. Jennifer Lopez. And Jennifer is actually wearing some vintage 1972 chandelier earrings. And I just happen to have some vintage, I think mine are actually from 1950, earrings that I found at like an antique shop back in the day. So I think those are gonna be really cool with this look as well. I even got the necklace to look like hers. It's just like 125 carats too small. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love this. So my cost for this entire look, not counting the wig of course, is 75. $5. Kylie Jenner's 2019 Met Gala look. It's just so good. The purple, the feathers, the two of them together. The designer of this one is also Versace. I also don't know the cost of this dress because it was overshadowed by the fact that Kylie is wearing $4.9 million worth of jewelry here. $5 million. So we're gonna do this on a budget. Okay, are you ready for the Kylie dress? I need to preface this one by saying, for some reason, it's really hard to find purple dresses. Although, I was at the fabric store today and if I could sew, I could have made the perfect outfit because I just get a nude bodysuit and then put this fabric over it and it would have been perfect, but no. We have to settle for a purple dress and this one's kind of purple. <laughs> the little flowers definitely reflect purple, so it's as close as I could get. And then we made the last minute decision to add some feathers to the bottom of the dress because Kylie's dress has feathers at the bottom and there are now feathers on the bottom of the dress. <laughs> We also ran out of feathers, so this project is to be continued. We'll pretend like it, it was supposed to be like that. It's just supposed to be a dollop of feathers on purpose. Okay, next part. I actually found the perfect wig on Amazon for like $30. And I love it. Like, look how good it looks. Okay, 
There it is. <laughs> this looks pretty good. And now for the final piece of this outfit. <laughs> I found somebody on Etsy who's custom making these like feather arm pieces like her and Kendall are wearing. Oh, oh my goodness. It matches the hair perfectly. Okay, the dress feathers are a little dark. Um, We can pretend like it was on purpose. We were going for more of a tones of purple. There it is. <laughs> These were expensive. They were $240. I know that I'll find more uses for these. And this wig, are you kidding me? These are so cool together. For the time being, I think this turned out pretty cool. <laughs> so in total, this look cost me about $400. Next up, we have my favorite Met Gala look of all time, Blake Lively's dress from last year. This beautiful Statue of Liberty themed dress that started out copper and then transformed into this beautiful like turquoise and copper moment. I think this one stole the show for everybody. You'll never guess who the designer is. Also Versace. <laughs> this actual dress and a whole bunch of other beautiful gowns are on display right now in London at the Crown to Couture exhibition. And I wish I could go so bad, but I can't. So we're making it. I splurged a little bit more on this dress because I really wanted to do the best I could to recreate this. It still doesn't even come close, but. And I wanted to get the colors as close to the original as possible, which is not easy. <laughs> okay, it was advertised as a copper dress, but it looks a little bit more brown to me. It was from Show Me Your Moo Moo and it was $198. This would be a lot easier if I could sew, I know, but I can't. So to make the overskirt, I found this dress at Dillard's for $130. So what I have to do is chop the top of this dress off, cut a slit in the front. Oh my goodness, I think this is gonna work. This dress is perfect too, because we still have a fully intact zipper. I made a slit, hemmed the slit with some hemming tape, and I feel like it turned out not too bad for somebody that can't sew. <laughs> the inside layer of the skirt is a really thin fabric, so I just burned the edges of it so that it wasn't so fringed. Oh my goodness, it's a real skirt. Is this terrible by most seamstress standards? Probably, but I'm really proud of myself. <laughs> the base dress of Blake's gown is covered in these beautiful little copper mirror pieces and tons of little rhinestones. So I got a whole bunch of little gems and mirrors that look quite a bit like the ones that are on her dress. First, I mapped out on this brown dress a rough pattern of where I wanted the design to go. And then I added some rose gold paint to the top of the dress because hers looks like it has something like that there. And then I painstakingly placed all these tiny pieces of mirrors and tiny gems all over this dress. It's 1 a.m. And the top of the dress is done. <gasps> Wait, it actually looks so cool. The plan was to do the whole dress, but the top part of this dress alone took about 10 hours, so. Okay, are you ready to see the base dress? Also, what do you think of my hair? I'm blonde again. This is for all the people that requested this. It's actually just an Amazon wig that I'm basically using as like a toupee. Okay, but the dress, are you ready? Ta-da! Okay, as you can see, I thought I was done with the top, but I decided to do some down the front. <laughs> what I really want to do is the whole dress, but that's gonna take a little while. But for now, I figured the blue is gonna cover the sides and I think it'll look really pretty if you can just see the front. Ah! Look at this though. This is the first time I've tried it on and I'm so happy with it. It turned out so cool. Okay, let's add some more pieces. Today we're making Gloves. All right, this paint kind of takes forever and a million layers, so I'm trying something different with the gloves. We're using a gold foil method. Okay, so Blake's gloves are this like teal color and the bronze kind of drips down to about the elbow. First, I put down the transfer gel in the pattern that I wanted the drips, and then I laid the gold foil over, went over it a few times with an iron, and then just let it cool. Okay, it's pretty much cooled. Time to see if it worked. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh, I don't really know what happened at the top there. It's okay, we can do another layer, but look. But overall, I think these turned out so cool and it was pretty simple. Okay, I'm starting with the front of the skirt. That's gonna be the most important. Okay, here we go. I'm not gonna lie, the skirt was not as simple as the gloves. <laughs> I think it's just because there was so much more space to cover and doing these strips one at a time definitely took a while. I also went in and filled in some of the spots that didn't stick very well with my rose gold paint. Okay, here's how it turned out. It looks pretty cool. This took way longer than I thought it would though. <gasps> 
Oh my gosh, this could not be more perfect. This is so fun. Okay, and now our final touches. All right, we've got the gloves. I couldn't get the skirt and the gloves to match perfectly, the blues, but if I just twirl a lot, you won't even notice, right? I had no idea this foil iron-on stuff was a thing. This is looking really good. Okay, we have a couple more pieces though. <laughs> We've got this adorable little crown that I found on Amazon and it matches perfectly. Beautiful. And then I really wanted to recreate some earrings that are similar to Blake's. So I found these little pendants and stones at the craft store and I've never made jewelry in my life, but somehow I figured out how to put these together and I think they turned out pretty cool. <sighs> Okay, here's the final look. I'm so proud of myself. Are you kidding me? It's so cool. Oh my gosh. I can't believe you made that. <laughs> wow. It used to be two dresses, two very boring dresses. So the total cost for this ends up being about $450. In this box, I have the grand finale, a Met worthy dress, a custom made gown unlike anything you've ever ever seen, uh, but I ran out of time. This dress didn't show up in time and I have to edit and get this video up. So you're gonna have to wait till the next video for this one. So subscribe so you don't miss it. See you in the next one. Say bye YouTube.